Our planet has one ocean, and it connects us all, no matter where we live, no matter what our culture. We all share a common heritage, a life bond with the ocean. Today, we have enough knowledge to realize that every one of us on the planet is connected to the ocean. If you protect the ocean, you protect yourself. We need the ocean. Every breath we take, every drop of water that rains from the sky, we're connected to the ocean. Our ancestors were immigrants, seafarers, fishermen, whalers, or explorers. Some of whose stories are captured on the seafloor or in seaside communities as shipwrecks and artifacts from long ago. And today we continue sailing the ocean, extracting its resources and uncovering its many mysteries. But now we realize how much we all depend upon the ocean for our very survival. Not just as individual nations, but as a global human race. A collective effort is needed to address the distress we cause ocean habitats and creatures. And that is the driver for recent marine heritage expeditions to foster ocean stewardship around the world. Whale ship Charles W. Morgan used to sail to remote parts of the globe hunting whales. Almost 100 years since its last whaling voyage, the Morgan was fully restored and sailed again on an iconic 38th voyage. This time to spread ocean conservation messages, including how whales continue to face threats today. For centuries, the goal was extracting whales. We did a really good job, first in coastal waters and then further and further offshore until in the 1800s and into the 20th century. Whaling ships from New England were coming all the way across the Pacific. While the Morgan sailed along America's Atlantic coast with its message of conservation, another voyage was underway in the Pacific Ocean, the Malama Honua Worldwide Voyage to Care for Our Island Earth. Two Polynesian voyaging canoes, Hokulea and Hikianulia, are sailing around the world on a mission to promote the importance of working together to protect diverse cultural and natural treasures towards a more sustainable planet. I believe that the Earth has never seen a level of a human movement that's reacting and pushing back against the forces that are damaging and hurting our home. And I place my bet on that movement. And all that we're trying to do in the Voyaging Canoe is to be part of it, find it and be a part of it. That's what we search for, that's what we sail for. We've debated this issue long enough about whether it's too much risk, that's over. The greatest risk we have is not to go, and, and we're on our way. While the Morgan, Hokulea, and Hikianalia sailed as ambassadors for the ocean, they visited marine protected areas, including America's national marine sanctuaries in the Atlantic and the Pacific, bringing attention to the value of these special places as critical for improving the health of the ocean and its resources. Some call these areas pristine seas. Whatever you call them, we must embrace them as if our lives depend on them, because in fact they do. Our lives depend on a healthy ocean, and a healthy ocean depends on having intact systems. Right now it seems that we're just fighting for what's left, what's left over. Who's going to get the last? And that is a very bad sail plan. And so when you start to listen to people like Sylvia Earle or Jean-Michel Cousteau or, or the work of National Marine Sanctuaries and others, it's inescapable to remove yourself from the sense of responsibility. The ocean is our lifeline. So let's tap into our global marine heritage, our connections to each other. Let's celebrate our one ocean by coming together, working together to help restore and conserve it. The time is now. We can change. It's a matter of behavior. We can only behave if we know. How can you protect what you don't understand? Now, we do. So, we have no excuse. Whoever you are, whatever you are, everybody has something they can do. 
everybody. You can make choices. You can start with you. These two historical voyagers are beacons to the world that our ocean matters for our future. It's our choice. And I believe we're heading in that direction. And I'm honored, proud, and grateful to be able to participate in this extraordinary opportunity and adventure to share with, I hope, millions and millions of people. Protect the ocean and you protect yourself.